attention. It is a average Wednesday night and I am cooking dinner. So you might be wondering what are we having for dinner for an average Wednesday? Um, I did go to the store and get some bread. The kids were excited and uh, we were having butternut squash soup and a crudite of vegetables, a little bit for everyone. There's some celery, some carrots, um, some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and some radishes. Uh, not everyone likes all of it, but everyone likes some of it, so it's a good choice. Pretty standard operating for our house on a standard week tonight. I like to use a technique called mise en place, which means that you set up all the little pieces and then put everything together. So I've already done the cutting, um, but I'd like to show you what I've done. So uh, here you can see the bread has been cut up. I just bought it at the store and it's ready for a little bit of butter. And here I am cooking some um, butternut squash soup on my induction stove. So, so I spent a bit on my induction stove. Um, the beauty of an induction stove is that it's a magnet and so it's not radiant heat. As a result, you can touch the burner even though it's on. So the pot itself is hot, but the burner's not. Uh, which makes clean up a snap because I can use paper towels underneath my pot and it won't catch fire or anything like that, <laughs> which is very helpful, um, especially for forgetful cooks. Um, um, you can also touch or put utensils on the cooktop and as long as you're not touching the cooker pots themselves directly, it works great. So again, that's kind of a safety feature for if you have children or if you are forgetful and tend to put things on the stove like your spoons um, or spatulas. Don't want them to melt. I also use quite a bit of Tupperware. So one of the things that I really like is called Fridge Smart and it is ridged bottoms and it has particular holes for airflow and so depending on the type of vegetable you can put it into these containers and open one two or no uh, of the airflow buttons and then as a result what you'll get is vegetables and fruits that last a lot longer than they would in the refrigerator so there's a nice little picture on it and uh, I've been using them for a few years now and it really saves money, which when you have a family is important. Here we have um, just a crudite, so some vegetables to cut up and ready to go. That's it. That is the whole dinner. Um, this is planned to serve four, um, myself, my husband, as well as uh, two teenagers, so two athletic teenagers. Um, I'm sure they'll supplement. Thanks. Next week, I'm gonna be taste testing three flavors of Rebel ice cream. First up is the peanut butter fudge. Then the salted caramel and cherry chip. Comment below with what you think my favorite flavor is going to be, and do you have other keto ice creams that you like? Thanks, and see you next week.